unfairly by representatives in Madison. It's a question that's being raised over the years, but some say it's happening a lot now with the current makeup of the state legislature. Yeah, some recent votes by the Joint Finance Committee could have an impact on public safety. Our Brandon Cruz has been looking into that. Brandon? Yeah, that's right, Brad. You know, there are two issues at stake for the city of Milwaukee. One, the possibility that the state crime lab will be moved out of the city. The other is the police department losing a tool that it uses to stop gun violence, which is making this public safety issue a political issue. We can now get there quickly. Um, we have a better idea of what we're looking for, where we're looking for things. Back in September of 2011, we went on a ride along with Milwaukee police to see how their shot spotter system worked. We certainly use it more often and, and see exactly where these shots are coming from. But this week, the Joint Finance Committee voted to stop funding the program. Milwaukee can invest more in community policing, that they have every right to change their resources to that that initiative if they think it's a good idea. While Republican State Senator Alberta Darling voted in favor of the change, Democratic State Representative John Richards disagrees. No one can give a reason why this money is being taken away. It's a good, proven program that helps us reduce violence in the city of Milwaukee. That's something everyone says they're in favor of. He also disagrees with the committee's vote to eliminate the rule that the state crime lab has to be in Milwaukee. When the crime lab is in the city of Milwaukee, it's much easier for our police department to use, and that's why it should be here. The Milwaukee Police Department is by far the largest user of the state crime lab. Darling, though, voted in favor of the change. It's an uh, issue of the building is in disrepair and the neighborhood has some concerns for lots, several of the people who work there. The crime lab has grown and has really outgrown its space. Now the city will have to wait and see if these two issues remain in the budget. By the end of June, we'll have a clear idea where this is going. And although these have been passed by the Joint Finance Committee, the budget still has to go to the entire legislature before anything is officially passed. Back to you. All right.